Mr. Thickums Luigi, Mr. Boom Boom. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Last night I tweeted, I sleep. What news, topics, tweets, videos y'all want me to talk about tomorrow? So guys, we're gonna jump right into the video, okay? But I do have two big announcements that I do wanna make. They're, they're pretty big, so <laughs> just two quick ones, we'll jump into the video. The first one is that I've been getting contact by several people that I cannot mention, that I cannot say, but all I can say is that my channel is currently being uh, watched uh, by some important people. So if you guys haven't subscribed, yet and or hit the bell notification or just drop a like button look if you guys want to support me now is the time okay that's all i can say i can't say anymore but some important people are currently looking at the channel and and viewing how things happen so that's it that's all i can say and number two i've decided to start incorporating a fan art uh section of the channel so you should probably see it on one of these sides or whatever so whoever's not the fan art thank you so much if you guys are artists uh and you do fan art and stuff like that for me go ahead and submit it to me and i'll put you on, on these videos i feel like it's a good inclusion i really like the uh the art community so yeah it's my way of giving back as well sorry guys those are the two announcements let's get right into the video so at daruka eon said how do you feel about cow kinis the heck is a cow kini so yeah i just put hashtag cow kini in twitter and uh, apparently it's just uh oh 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 <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my oh okay <laughs> okay wait 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 don't don't search it on your own okay let me just <laughs> At first, I just saw like a girl and there's a picture of the cow kini. It's a bikini, but you know, it's cow. So you got the bikini on, but it's got the cow shape. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember seeing some, some anime girls in that. But then I saw like some furries and I was like, okay, I'm not, a, you know, you know, I don't mind furries too much. So I was like, okay, furries are now in cow kini. It's a little weird. It looks like it started with the furry community. But then if you keep going, it gets nasty, doc. So <laughs> beware, okay? Search at your own risk. I like Kalkinis when it's on the anime girls. You know, bring that on. But uh, some of that is a little bit too hardcore for me. <laughs> Zul tweeted GTA 6's protagonist. So yeah, if you guys don't know, this is a really big deal. Grand Theft Auto 6, the main person that you're going to use is a girl. It's going to be a female. And I think that's absolutely freaking awesome it's about time after five installments you get to use a female protagonist i'm all about it i'm all about it okay to be honest i'm tired of playing as a dude every time i play these games okay i want to i want to play as a, i want i want to <laughs> try to play as a girl you know go to the strip club go see some some male dancers and <laughs> oh man i think it's good i think it's a great representation for women and i think it's gonna be great to see that perspective as well too especially when it comes to a game like grand theft auto 6 when it comes to games like grand theft auto it's so male oriented so many of the times so like i'm just curious to see what they do with it i think it's gonna be amazing i think it's a great play and uh, yeah I i'm very excited to play grand theft auto 6 for this reason alone so uh isu said where do you get all your cat cups so i can tell my boyfriend to get one for me also love your youtube videos thank you for keeping me up to speed when i don't have time to keep up with things myself oh thank you and uh yeah you're welcome uh, in terms of my cups i honestly can't tell you i've been collecting you know cute mugs like for the past six seven years i have so many mugs it's crazy so i i cannot tell you where i got them all from i got them from cruises i got them from amusement parks i saw them in target i saw it at a random store i've just been collecting and every time i see anything that's like looks cute or looks cool i'm like yeah give me that mug <laughs> it's just been my thing so unfortunately i can't tell you specifically where but yeah i'm pretty sure if you kind of like just google like hello kitty mug you know then you'll find it kind of thing that, that that'll probably work because you know the internet is the internet so yeah so uh lamont fruity said youtube being sued maybe i heard something about it so context is needed also i look only at your channel for news and this new stuff because you explain and shine light on things so well so keep up the great work Thank you so much. In terms of me being a news channel, okay, don't I don't want you guys to think that I'm like a super, super news channel with like 100% accurate information, okay? I kind of just look up the information, I do a little bit of research, and then I'll let you guys know about it. And I know a lot that is going on with this whole YouTube thing being sued. Like, I, <laughs> it's crazy. So guys, basically what's happening is there's a company named Rumble. Uh, apparently, they're just, you know, like a YouTube type search space, but they're suing YouTube for $2 billion dollars <laughs> because they believe that youtube is suppressing their actual website uh through the google search so they believe that youtube is saying hey anybody who's a competitor is getting suppressed through the algorithm of uh google and guys this ties back into like you know youtube being basically almost literally a monopoly because when it comes to like watching videos on the internet in terms of like the way that youtube does and creating it you're not you can't compete with youtube <laughs> you just can't no one's gonna not go to youtube to watch a video and, and apparently if you try to come up with a competitor like rumble which i never really even heard of until 
until after I heard about this news the other day, then yeah. But you know what? I actually have them in the Rumble's website. Let's let's actually go take a look. So guys, this is uh, Rumble.com. This is the website. These are the people who are suing uh, YouTube for two billion dollars. I'm I'm not gonna lie. This this is garbage. <laughs> this is absolutely garbage. This looks like YouTube ten years ago. This looks like YouTube when it first started. It's it's. It's, of course, you can't compete with YouTube. It, this is terrible. But yeah, they're suing for $2 billion. There's no way they get this money. But it does bring into question, you know, YouTube being a monopoly. And are they suppressing search results for people who compete against them? Which, in my opinion, they probably are. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that happens with the algorithm that people don't know about. And they couldn't even probably prove if they wanted to. I would not be surprised if they were. So I do think there is like legit concern for YouTube and being a monopoly and potentially suppressing. I think the concern is there. I doubt that they can prove Prove it. I doubt that they will get this billion dollars. It'll probably be thrown out. I'm sorry, but this website sucks. So <laughs> even if they didn't, you know, throttle Rumble's uh, articles, if that's what they're saying, no one would still come here because it's it's garbage doo-doo butter. So that's how I feel about it. Nick Wilde said, do you think Nintendo Directs will be coming back this year? You know what? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't care. Like, I... For me, Nintendo Directs was only good when it had Reggie and Bill in it. And, and that was the magic of Nintendo Directs for me, was seeing these guys come up there doing skits, talking about the game. Something about his energy and their energy was just really good. Now that they're gone, I I honestly don't care, but you know, I'm still gonna answer the question. In terms of will they come back? Probably not anytime soon. And even if they do come back, I don't think they have the charisma to pull off the same type of Nintendo Direct. So they'll probably do something a little bit different because of COVID and everything. So if we do get a Nintendo Direct, Probably not anytime soon. And if it does come, it'll probably be, you know, like more of a presentation where somebody comes up and says, hey, welcome. Here's the games. And it's so, yeah, a black shot guy says the new Pog Champ guy is saying some racist stuff. So if you guys don't know, and I talked about this the other day, OK, Twitch basically got rid of Pog Champ. It's an emote where the guy goes like, you know, like <laughs> the open mouth emote. But yeah, they got rid of it because the guy, uh, Gutex, the face of it basically was talking about Capitol Hill stuff. And they're like, nope, you got to go. So I think they followed the advice of this guy named Day9, who basically said, hey, why don't you just rotate uh, the emote with different people who stream, which was actually a good idea. You know, use the faces of the Twitch community. And every like day or so, they rotated and put another face in there. The problem, however, is that <laughs> I think the first person they chose, uh, people went in and kind of dug up and found some stuff that kind of points to this guy being racist. So guys, this is the clip that everyone's been using is from a guy named Critical Bard. Uh, he's the guy who's the first Pog champ. And uh, let's just watch it. Cool. I guess I just want to comment uh, about, so what's happening is, cause I'm, I'm kind of seeing it a little bit on Twitter plus in here. Someone shared that uh, a conglomeration of all the times I said white feelings don't matter. Um, and our pressed about that um, and now using that as a tirade against me saying I thought you don't have pog champers who don't uh, say uh, bad things and I'm like totally not the same I'm not condemning uh, 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 an, an entire people I just want to pause by the way I, I miss overwatch Jesus Christ I is the game still good <laughs> okay well, I'm sorry let's just get into it and and defending uh, insurrectionists and people who did some head assery uh, I'm saying that when Ooh, you ouch. say white lives matter, they don't. And I'll say that again, whether I'm a Twitch partner or not. Just so you know. Mm. White lives don't matter because white lives aren't a thing. <laughs> cool. What? I don't know. To me, that seems kind of hateful. I mean, like, obviously, white lives matter. Of course, white lives matter. All lives matter. Okay, I guess I gotta explain this, okay? I gotta, I'll do it really fast. The whole point of the Black Lives Matter movement is basically to say that, hey, yeah, black people have been treated unfairly or getting shot up by the police and bad things are happening to them and we need to bring more attention to what's happening to black people in America and all over the world, technically. But yes, then what happened was, you know, the, the other side, people who would want to kind of suppress the Black Lives Matter movement that was trying to grow, they'll say things like, you know, all lives matter or blue lives matter, you know? but that's not the point if someone says that black lives matter the point is not to say that the rest of the people don't matter <laughs> it's like again the analogy that people use is hey my left hand is broken the rest of my body is completely fine can you know my left hand matters and then the right hand is like hey what, what about me i matter too and then you know the foot's like hey i matter too like the whole point is that you know your left hand's broken black lives matter it, 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 black people are broken so the way that i feel about it is black lives matter is not the equivalent to say that the rest of people don't matter however 
what Critical Bard was saying in this specific statement. And let me let me just listen to it again, make sure I didn't miss here. White lives don't matter because white lives aren't a thing. So yeah, not only is he saying the opposite of black lives matter, he's basically saying that white lives don't matter, but to also say that white lives aren't a thing is just, I don't even know what that means. What do you mean white lives aren't a thing? Like white people don't exist? Like, <laughs> I think that what he is saying is kind of hit assery and I think it needs to be reworded in a way. It's not healthy. It seems very extreme and it seems to be like counterintuitive of what, you know, Black Lives Matter should really mean. I don't think the idea is to isolate and say like only these people matter and the rest of the people don't matter. Uh, and it feels very extreme with what he's saying. So I, I don't agree with it. I do think it's a uh, pretty kind of racist and apparently he's been saying a lot of things like this in the past so yeah people were upset with twitch because they made him the first pog champ emote and now it seems like if you become a a, <laughs> a twitch pog champ emote people will go into your history and basically see if you've done anything bad which kind of sucks so yeah a lot of people are angry about that on twitch on reddit i understand what he's trying to say but i think he's taking it to an extreme and that extreme is making it to the point where it's much more hateful and the opposite i think it's a little hypocritical and uh, yeah that's my take krugbug tweeted how hot is luigi on a scale from one to ten <laughs> if you look at uh, this picture of hot luigi uh dude's pretty odd not gonna lie guys I, I didn't know that was on all that underneath the shirt give him but I, you know i give him like a little seven out of ten i'm not a huge fan of like super buff muscly guys it's a seven out of ten now if you're talking about this luigi this thick thick mr thickums luigi mr boom boom <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw this photo a long time ago and I, I can't unsee it. And now you got to see it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. That's what you get. But yeah, I'm giving Thick Luigi a 10 out of 10. Oh, God. Okay, here it is. Uh, Carl said the new Belle Delphine Twitter post, followed by Uncle Daddy saying the easiest topic to pick, and Omni will probably have quite the adventure discussing it. All right, how do I talk about this subject without this entire video getting demonetized? Let's start from the beginning, okay? There's a girl named Belle Delphine, if you don't know who she is. She's the biggest internet troll OnlyFans girl, super lewd, who's most recently infamously known for posting the, the, the infamous Christmas uh, pee video uh, with her, you know, unknown boyfriend or whatever, which apparently wasn't even that good. Well, guys, last night she was trending on Twitter for reasons. Well, actually, before I get into anything, let me give you guys a quick uh, trigger warning for those of you who don't like like uh, the R word, of, I'm gonna just say rope. For now on, I'm gonna just say rope. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't like it, there's a trigger warning because we're gonna be talking about something that has something to do with it. So I don't really know how trigger warnings work, but I'll give you a couple seconds to leave the video if that's what you wanna do. Three, two, one. All right, let's talk about it. So guys, Belle Delphine basically posted a, uh, a post on Twitter that's titled My Perfect First Day Heart. And I can't show you it. It's uh, four different pictures and I can't show it to you here, otherwise YouTube would just completely ether this video. But to describe it to you, the first one is a picture of Belle Delphine in a car. She's tied up and she has tape over her mouth. She's in a, a, a blue dress and yeah, it's basically some bondage stuff. The second picture is her legs being bound up as well while she's still in the car. And the third one is, well, <laughs> the third picture is her on her back, legs straight up, you know, cooch all out, but it's got a line there so you, it covers part of the cooch but you can still like you can still see a lot but yeah she's she's basically being tied being kidnapped and then the fourth one is her in a forest being kidnapped and essentially roped by some dude with a ski mask on you know he's got his schlong all out and he's going full penetration to her while she's completely tied up so that's the four pictures uh, that basically sparked this huge thing happening on Twitter yesterday. So people on Twitter were mad for specifically two reasons. Number one, the whole portrayal of rope, okay? The fact that she kind of posted this whole thing. People were like, how dare she post about, you know, rope? You know, she's an OnlyFans girl, but how dare she do that without a trigger warning? And how, why would she do that in the first place? And then the second reason is that a lot of people like feel that Belle Delphine basically portrays herself as a young girl in this, uh... <laughs> In this tweet and when i look at it personally i i can kind of see it. It, it i mean the dress looks normal it looks like something that a, an older adult could wear but i could also see it being worn by a young girl as well too so yeah those are the two big reasons why people were big baby rage mad about belle delphine and the post that she made so yeah in terms of my personal feelings and <laughs> i'm gonna do my best to be very careful with this okay because i don't want to kink shame anyone because i mean to be honest i think a lot of people are into some really 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 weird stuff i mean I, i'm not gonna show you my browser history and you guys are going to show me your browser history so <laughs> but i'm pretty sure you guys are probably into some stuff some of you watching this video that you don't want anybody to know and also i'm a huge advocate of sex workers and women you know basically having only 
OnlyFans and making money off their bodies instead of someone else making money off their bodies. So I'm a huge advocate of that as well. So when it comes to this, I'm I'm much more open when it comes to, I guess, like sex stuff. So when I'm looking at this, my first reaction is like, <laughs> my first reaction is, is this is it's kind of weird in terms of having like any kind of trigger warning I, I don't know if i agree with that if you follow belle delphine she's a walking trigger warning okay all the content that she makes triggers somebody somewhere i'm pretty sure she's had <laughs> stuff with guns stuff with knives stuff with like blood like everything that she does is trigger warning so it's like in my opinion if you're triggered by belle delphine or anything that could be triggering you you just probably shouldn't be watching her probably should just unfollow or block her on twitter or something like that because she's a walking trigger in terms of rope i do know that that's like a fantasy i do know like you know if you go to any of the peace sites that is definitely something you can just type in and people will view it and watch it i know it's a trope and it's something that people do and they like to fantasize i feel like as long as it's just fantasized then it's you can keep it at that part of the website but i can understand why some people don't support it but the thing that it kind of like makes me feel a little weird is the whole terms of her being kind of like a kid like being kiddish like when i look at this i i honestly honestly i feel like one of the biggest problems when it comes to belle delphine is that she looks like a child she's a grown woman she's an absolutely grown woman and she's allowed to you know participate in sexual fantasies all that she wants but she has a baby face like if she put on just regular clothes you would look at her and you'd be like wow she looks like she could be a kid or she could be very young so when people see you know images of her or pictures of her it always feel like she's portraying i guess a, a little kid the problem though is that i do know that in the past i believe there have been pictures and poses of her kind of basically posing herself as a little girl like <laughs> i can't remember but there's some picture where she's holding like a lollipop and she has braces and her hair is in like pigtails and i think she has like my little pony stuff in the background like i feel like in the past she has definitely tried to portray herself as underage and uh, so yeah that's going to definitely creep up into whatever you do in the future so the fact that you look like a little kid plus you kind of you know take these suggestive poses people are going to be like hey you are basically doing something like as bad as cuties from netflix okay i don't think it goes back to that level maybe it's even worse i don't know but yes that's the argument and that's what people are fighting about and that's my thoughts however there was a follow-up from her this morning belle delphine made a tweet that said i'm not sorry and here's why and this was her response <laughs> hopefully i can read through it again without the video getting demonetized all right let's do this she says there is nothing wrong with enjoying power play and bdsm where both people are consensual i think saying because i enjoy consensual non-consent is promoting rope is the same as the argument that violence in video games promotes violence I don't know if that's a fair comparison, but let's just keep going. I made it very clear in the caption of my photo and anything written about it that I was enjoying it and it was consensual. I never said the word rope or anything against my will. That is what other people have put onto it. I enjoy the idea of being tied up and used with my consent, obviously. Another thing that people have said is that I'm trying to dress like a child, which to me is insane. I feel like dressing vintage that day and even styled my hair in a beehive that was very common for women of that time. All the clothes I wear are made for adults, so the only thing that people can comment on maybe is the fact that I'm wearing a cute dress. It's very confusing for me since I see other people dress like it all the time. If it's about how I genetically look, I can't change that and I will not apologize for it either, nor will I stop being sexual since I am sexually active adult. So yeah, that kind of ties into what I was saying earlier. She just looks extremely young and no, I don't think she should be faulted for how she looks. Like I said, she is a grown woman. I do think, however, the problem that some people might be having, maybe they aren't having it. Maybe they just don't like how she looks like, like a kid. So they think that she's portraying a kid. But again, Again, for those who are a little bit more in the know, there were just some suggestive pictures of her in the past where she was basically portrayed herself as a kid. There's a lot more going to that than just what she's saying. Anyway, to continue, no one likes rope. No one wants rope to exist. Saying that I support rope is the same as saying that 50% of the female population does. Because if you look at statistics based upon this, oh my god, I don't, I don't think these statistics are going <laughs> to... From studies done over the last 30 years, including new studies, 31 to 61 percent of women have power play rope fantasies in the exact same way. What? Is that true? Wait a minute. I'm gonna need a source. What? What studies? She's basically saying that one to two women out of three women, if you take a population of three women, at least one or two of them is having a fantasy when it comes to power play and 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 rope fantasy. That's what study is this? And who? <laughs> Who conducted this study and where? She continues, I am not apologizing for anything. What I did wasn't wrong and much more normal than people think. Look at one of the most common sexual outfits and fantasies, schoolgirl. If you wear that, are you promoting P Fire now? Uh, the front page of P websites, including fantasy scenario of every different kind you can think of. Uh, God dang, I can't say any of these words. There's the I word, there's stepmom, teacher, etc. Just because someone likes the fantasy of something doesn't mean they want it in real life. Sex is complex and explorative, but should always be consensual. All right, this 
is going to get demonetized. I already know it. Okay, let's continue. I post a lot of sexual stuff to my Twitter because it's for my OnlyFans. People who are sensitive to kinks and sexual content shouldn't be following me. I've made it very clear that I'm posting hardcore peeps. She did. She did say that. She did say she's being very hardcore. And like I've said before, she's a walking trigger. So if you just don't want to be triggered by anything, I do think that you should block her and or not follow her. I, I kind of I kind of agree with that. Staying true to myself and my beliefs is more important than following the tide of angry, angsty people on the internet. Can you imagine a world where people actually posted how they individually felt rather than how their whole cancel culture crappy community felt? It would be a better and more productive one. Okay, so now she's talking about cancel culture. I kind of agree and disagree with it. Like I do agree that there is cancel culture and the waves of it of people echoing and repeating things that they've heard before is, is kind of crappy. But at the same time, when you do have uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people kind of being angry about the same thing, there might be a reason. <laughs> so I, I, I like the idea of, you know, sticking true to your values and stuff like that. I feel that, but also I think what would be better is also being flexible and maybe realizing that if a lot of people were complaining about a specific kind of thing, there might be something that you might need to do to, to kind of change or adapt or evolve. I'm more about people, you know, following their values and beliefs, but also having the ability to evolve, you know, recognizing that something can be approved upon, not just staying stubborn and being who you are, even if who you are is causing, you know, problems problems for a lot of people. Uh, as for people saying I should have used a trigger warning, my whole Twitter OnlyFans have constant themes of kink since I do pee as a job and I will not put a trigger warning on all my posts. Do not follow me if you require trigger warnings before posts. P.S. It was the best sex I've had in months and I'm planning to do it again very soon. Hard emoji. Okay, we're done. So guys, that's the post. That's the reason why people are angry. Again, general consensus for me is that I'm, I'm okay with the majority of what she's doing. I mean, I'm okay with like, you know, OnlyFans and sex work. I'm okay with that stuff. My problem though is that this is just kind of weird because she has a history. I mean, I've seen pictures and people have talked about it in the past where she's kind of portrayed herself as a very, very young person, if you know what I mean. So for me, even if you take away the concept that she looks like a kid, like if you make her into a grown woman's person's body but like you still taking and keeping the fact of stuff that happened in the past and yeah in the future if you kind of put yourself in a place where you are kind of resembling something that might be something like kid like then yes it's going to trigger a lot of people and make them think that you're kind of you know trying to capitalize off sexualizing off underage people now again like i said the problem is that she just looks like a kid and then that's not her fault and that's not her problem but i do get why people are upset and to me personally this this definitely crosses a line i'm not specifically sure which line it crosses but i don't feel 100 percent good about <laughs> this post all right jesus christ moving on falcon 16 tweeted have you watched anime called the promised neverland i have promised neverland anime came out i think last year or the year before or whatever one of the best animes i've seen in a really long time i'm pretty sure i gave it like a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of a 10 if you're into like horror and mystery oh my god it's so good 100 percent recommend that you watch it season two i think is here and i'm really excited for that i'm definitely going to be watching that all right guys that's the end of the video if you made it to the end do me a favor and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already okay uh, like i said there's eyes on me and on this channel so like <laughs> if you're gonna support me like these next couple of days or weeks or however long it takes this is it okay i can't say anything else but it's gonna be monumental if you guys come in spades and watch the videos and, and support me okay otherwise yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow you guys take it easy you have a good one stay safe stay hydrated and uh yeah take it easy Thank you.